Hello everybody, my name is Adam if you're new around here and we have got some very exciting news. Update 1.9 will be coming to Planet Zoo on the 12th of April so let's take a look at everything it has to offer. I will be giving my own personal thoughts and opinions on this new update so let's dive into this. As soon as we bring up the notes we're hit with the first point which is Roman educators. It says here that free roaming educators will soon be roaming the way into your zoo, like what they did there. This is a brand new way for your educators to share their animal knowledge with your guests as they walk around bringing some extra educational activity along the with them. Whenever an educator isn't travelling, resting or at an animal talk point, they'll be able to wander around and give mini talks to your guests to help them educate them on some of the animals present in your zoo. To celebrate this new exciting experience for your guests, we decided to try our hand at replicating some of the hard work that Roman educators will be putting in at your very own zoos. And they've actually embedded a little like fun video here on the website and you'll see it playing just in the background here briefly. And basically this is just the lovely Francesca going around and quizzing some of the Planet Zoo staff themselves so you'll get to be introduced to some of the people who work at Planet Zoo and it's a fun little video of them going around and getting quizzed on certain animals which have been the main focus points of different DLC packs. Now, I'm really excited because normally when they released um, patch notes and updates notes like this, either the day after or a couple of days following, we will get a new DLC release. That's normally how they work, so fingers crossed that we will get a new DLC. In fact, comment down below if you think we'll get one, and if you do think we'll get, get one, what kind of DLC do you think we'll get? Will we get a full DLC with building pieces? Will we get an animal pack? And what kind as well? What animals or what, you know, what are you actually looking forward to being implemented and introduced into Planet Zoo as a new DLC? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. It carries on with Explore Camera Mode. Speaking of roaming, we're very excited to share that with the launch of Update 1.9, you'll be able to make the most of new Explore Camera Mode, seeing and editing your zoo from a guest level point of view you'll be able to see your zoo as if it was visiting it yourself, giving you a great perspective from which to make any building or decorative adjustments, as well as offering a brand new way to for you to fully immerse yourself in your build. And this is brilliant. We can kind of do that. You can change your guest name or a staff member's name to Tejicam, and you can actually do that. But I think this is going to be much more easier and much more, you know, variety and accessible to be able to see a first person view and i'm really excited and it's going to make some great screenshots especially for me being a content creator as well it carries on with audio and visual management screen and webcams on billboards so that's interesting it says here managing your audio and media boards just got even easier this new audio visual management screen will allow you to manage screens and speakers within your zoo from one location ah so it looks like we've actually got a whole new part of the user interface to be able to go in and edit different audio and visual um, screens within your zoos. It says here, allowing you to, to see which clip or audio are being used by each, each output device, as well as the status and running cost of each screen, speaker or camera in your zoo. So you can deliver a fuller immersive educational experience with total ease. To add to this offering, you'll be able to incorporate your webcam feeds from burrows into your billboards. That's brilliant. That's actually a really good idea. Allowing your guests to get a closer look at your animals when they are using the burrows. Next point is new water options. Okay. I love using water in, in, um, in Planet Zoo. So let's have a look what it says here. Did someone say flexicolor? With the upcoming update 1.9, you can now completely customize the color of water in any exhibit which features it. Okay, allowing you to have more control than, or, than ever over exactly how your exhibit animals are displayed and viewed in your zoos. Which exhibits are you going to inject with a burst of color first? I'm guessing this means the actual exhibits rather than habitats because you can actually change the color by using the terrain tools of, of water of bodies of water what you've created let's just read on here your habitats won't be missing out on a, on some aqua based features either 
With update 1.9, you'll be able to add both mist and bubble effects to your habitat's water. You'll be able to implement these options from the water information panel. Interesting. Alongside the transparency and water color options, which are already in game. And the mist VFX will also offer customizable color. Okay, it's just another level of customization in this game, which is brilliant. Now I'm looking forward to playing around with that and seeing what kind of scenery we can create with that. Moving on to the next point, it says bathing behaviors. The perfect way to unwind in a hot spring, of course. With update 1.9, we're introducing bathing behaviors. Simply create a shallow pool of water and heat it with water temper regulator. That was a mouthful to say. Keeping it to animals' requirements, of course. To create the perfect hot springs for your Japanese maki to bathe in. Okay. I said, I said that wrong. Japanese maraki, not Japanese maki. The behavior will help to reduce animal stress, so it's a great way to provide more relaxation environment with your habitats. Next point, we've got flattened to terrace bush, brush. To help create the shallow pool you'll need for your new hot springs, you'll be able to use the new flattened to terrace brush. The new terrain brush is available with update 1.9 and offers a terrace height setting and a shallow pool offset option or okay, care which are incredibly helpful if you're wanting to create a rice terrace structures within your zoo that's interesting next point small burrows with update 1.9 of course smaller animals will now be able to adopt burrowing behaviors you'll be able to place small burrows from both meerkats and prairie dogs in your zoos and don't forget that you can now add webcam feeds to the burrows we learned that in the last one to the billboards as always these exciting new features in update 1.9 come with various fixes which will be included in full patch notes upon release as always so we've got small burials, we've got the ability to make to make little pools for your animals to bathe in, we've got new watercolour options, new audio and webcon adding to building options, and of course, most importantly, and what I'm most excited about personally, we've got Roman educators and the use of the explore camera mode, which is gonna help me being a content creator to get some lovely thumbnails for you guys to watch my videos, hopefully. Let me know in the comment section below which implementation of the new update you were most looking forward to this has been an update for planet zoo hopefully we get a dlc very soon as well and i can update you of any new updates or any new dlcs what come out for planet zoo then keep in tune to this channel if you're new around here then hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date to any new updates what planet zoo release i hope you have a wonderful day and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video